The opinions expressed on the EFNet News Report may not reflect those of Jason Bandy or associated PP4L Productions. EFNet News cannot be held liable for any DDoS, doxing, or life ruin that occurs related to the cast, or any damages as a result of the opinions expressed. Please exercise discretion when listening. If you feel angry after hearing the cast, you have been trolled. In the name of Jesus, I take care of you! Make EFNet great again. That's a dope fucking newscast, man. You are now listening to the EFNet News Report with Jason Bandy. Yes, yes, everybody, it is FNAT News again. I'm Jason Bandy here. We're doing it again, episode 19. This one's called Battlefronting. A little play on words, which we'll get into a bit later in the show. Uh, but for now, we'll start with some of the easier to digest news. Uh, before we get started, though, shout out to Load and his dog. Uh, just got notified that his dog's in the hospital right now and is coughing up blood, so that's real shit. Uh... Love my man, load, love of his dog. I hope everything works out. So moving on to the show, I gotta say earlier in the week, Monkey played a, a flash game with load and his laptop fully failed and it fucked itself basically. It went haywire. It's flashing different colors and freaking the fuck out. This may have been a cyber attack by a thread, but we're not sure. Well, just to be clear. It's a BIOS level hack, the worst of all hacks, and he was forced to buy a Chromebook to replace it. Now, ERC's through a browser tab like a novice. Ugh. Spoke linked us to a picture of chicken breasts that have been cooked in a green NyQuil. Fuck off with that shit. I haven't what the fucked in a long time on the internet, and that did it for some reason. Speaking of medicine and Spoke, Spoke was high on cough medicine and opt Jew Bird and pound LRH for a minute and then realized what she'd done and de opt him. Jew Bird was disappointed, but he was happy because he lived his dream of having ops and pound LRH. Dozens of bots joined pound 2600 and were echoing lulled angs, and he flooded his normal scripts and aliases, which we all love. It went on for so long that the ultimate shit flutter himself asked for it to be turned off. During that flood, Dead Code, Avalon, Effie, and Conserve parted. A few days after that, an anonymous user joined a botnet that frankly blew me away. There were four or five bots on proxies that synchronized and played ASCIIs without being voiced. It was smooth and seamless. Originally, Big Matix took about 17 minutes to play through, but after a few more runs and tweaking it jumped down to 9 minutes. Let's take a moment to let that set in. An unvoiced ASCII botnet that flooded Big Matix in 9 minutes? That's amazing. And people have been trying to do this shit successfully for so long, and this is the first time I've seen it done so well. So I gotta say, whoever has done that, they win Chatter of the Week this week, but they're anonymous. So I think it's time to uh, jump into the weather early on. Try to play Sal around front, back, middle, all that kind of shit. Uh, hopefully, someone's won the contest of commenting in the YouTube and they get their own little weather thing. So, uh, Sal, what you got, man? Anyway, today the uh, weather is uh, it's really windy out, probably gusting up to 30 miles an hour. No have moves, thankfully, have, but we're looking at some blowing dust. Can't see the mountains around here. And for the next few days, it's going to be upper 80s, touching 90, uh, going into the weekend. Pretty sunny, nothing, nothing major. The wind's going to go away. And uh, actually, next week it's looking nice. It's going to be in the 80s, lower middle middle 80s. So uh, pretty happy about that. Now on to the winner of the week to for me to do the weather we had a few posts there and um i was gonna go with load suggestion of hell however two issues there a little complicated a have to be dead 
and B, I'd have to bring Dwayne with me because I need him to help ward off the demons, but uh, I'm sure he doesn't want to die either. So what I did, I did a, a little drawing out of a hat, picked lit up out of Baltimore, and I will do that five, five day forecast now. Um, we're looking at, it's cloudy, uh, it's cloudy today, it's 70 degrees, and uh, but it's gonna warm up for the 80s for the next few days, and then uh, Sunday it's gonna be cloudy again as the front comes in, and the temperature's gonna drop down to 70. That is your Baltimore forecast. If you guys like that and you want to do another forecast next week, comment below. Otherwise, have a great week. Hope uh, things are looking good in your neck of the woods, and I will talk to you soon. Back to you, Jason. Ah, thanks for that, Sal. Amazing weather as always. Congratulations to uh, Lit Up for winning that forecast. I know that he was looking forward to that all week and was dying for it, so you won, brother. Recently, there was some flooding going on on irc.synirc, that's S-Y-N-I-R-C.net, when a bot joined Pound Hell Channel, all one word, and linked the most recent episode of ENN. A lot of people hated on FNet News and Pound LRH in there. They accused people there of being pussies and trolls, so feel free to join that IRC and speak to them about it. Also, during the same flood, but on Freenode, someone named Sedition... S-E-D-I-T-I-O-N said you'd think PP4L guys would have better shit to do now that all of us are in our 30s. And he's got a point. Right, so let's get down to the real story of the week. The Vapor versus Thread rap battle. Let's set the stage. We all know Thread can be a bit of a bragger and a loud mouth when it comes to his skills and alleged accomplishments. This pompous, puffed-up, pontifical, pharmaceutical fiend graced us with his presence and decided to criticize my new track called Die for IRC. It's not my best song, but I don't think it's horrible. It's certainly not my worst. He started by complimenting it, but backhanded me, and he said that his scene pals thought that I didn't have any flow. He agreed. He had a few other things to say, but I digress. And it was at this point that I pointed out that I just try to make entertaining music about something as obscure as IRC. And that this isn't really professional grade shit going on. But who gives a fuck? Etc. IRC's serious. Etc. And then at that point, someone asked Thread if he could make better music than me. Thread said he definitely could. And that he was a lyricist. So... Not really in those words, but again, I digress. I also don't really feel like asking anybody for logs, but just so you know, after that was said, Lode came up with the idea of a rap battle to settle the beef. Well, it wasn't really a beef, but it was a good opportunity. So the terms were as follows. Spit bars over Dr. Dre's new, or sorry, the next episode beat. 2 minutes and 41 seconds of heat would take the streets and gain respect of all the chat rooms. Submissions needed to be made on the day, which was Friday, no later than 6 p.m. We both agreed fully in text, and shortly after that, Thread tried to change the terms and also made comments about the type of the beat and things of that nature, but the agreement had already been signed in IRC blood, so there was no going back. Thread disappeared for a while. The chat erupted in discussion about the upcoming historical battle. And about 30 minutes later, he came back and Thread decided to paste some bars in the chat. Now for those of you that weren't there, they read as follows. I'll rap him. He's on IRC a lot. He's got a wife and children. He's not a G. People say his training name is Mildred. You asked for a rap battle. I turned around and killed it. If I was anything like you, I should have fucking filled it. My flow's your mom, man. It's got a lot of hits similar to your polka dot red face zits. It's the fat fag life. He can't stop. He won't quit. Chat the last line hard. Pull you apart and take a shit. Fat hot dog neck off. Always talking out your slit. They e ballish slavery. Now your bitch ass is lit. Now, of course, when I rap that, it sounds great. <laughs> Reed Error replied instantly after this was pasted and he just said, Crumple that up. Savage. A lot of shit was talked and thread. I had more accusations of kicking my ass verbally and then 
physically and then he went ghost for like an hour or so during this time a user named threading pretended to be him and talked a bunch of shit and asked questions like can we have backup vocals and said his boy wants in on it etc some speculate this may have been chrono but this was never confirmed After typing uh, five pages full of killer bars and drop this gem. Threading wasn't me. I don't know who was copying my chat dialogue I was currently writing in, but every time highlighted some form of shit talk and kind of boring with 10 people against me and on my side. I'm too high to deal with shit talk from every angle with six people versus me. It's overwhelming. I've proved myself over and over and if I stop I have no skill when I just want to code and talk to people who enjoy la compagnie. I'm out. Peas. And he was. He was gone for that night, for the next day, and all the way up until the day of the battle. He never showed his face. Lode even stayed late after work to wait for the submission, but ended up leaving. But then... He received a battled rap from Thread, and if you haven't heard it, go search Vapor Thread Battle on YouTube. You'll get to hear the battle that was played by Load on the low radio hour. The result was close, lots of votes. Thread managed to gather plenty of sympathy votes, some uh, legit ones, but I won. Uh, thanks to Chrono, Load, Sloth, Monkey for sending me money for winning, and thanks to all those who participated in the voting. Some theorize it wasn't actually Thread that submitted the battle, but maybe someone else. In the wake of the events, Thread flooded ALRH with some bots that he claims he coded and fully automated, even though they were only flooding when he was active, and he had this to say about why he didn't participate. I would have freestyled. That wasn't the problem. The problem is Vapor, who I kind of thought was an alright guy, lied and said he didn't care about unbanning me, and said I was asking for it after I'd already saw him chatting for an hour afterwards in this channel and actively in ENN. This is just the start of what's to come. Be ready. So he didn't stay true to his word because of something that allegedly happened the day before the thing he agreed to do in a different channel that had nothing to do with anything classic. What a bitch. He also made fun of Vapor for being white and wanting to be black and also having a wife and kids. He made fun of Lode's voice and haircut. He also challenged MTW to a fight in Chicago for 13 bitcoins. He'll be bringing niggas with guns, but they won't do anything until the gang is assumed will come with MTW actually does something first. So I'm sure we all believe he'd show up as he's a man of his word. He hasn't been seen since. So for a few days, Pound FNet News was the biggest public channel until early Saturday morning when about 275 bots died instantly and sent us back into the normal realms of channel stardom. Mike Jones hasn't been seen in weeks. Who? He quit in the middle of a worms game after one of his worms fell to their death and he's only been seen once since then. Chango was running his mouth to Matthew, and Matthew let people in FNet News know about it. Matthew, otherwise known as Fire, he knows how to handle his business. He's a real OG, but we joined him and pumped the fuck out of Chango and Pound Cooking and had a great time. Everyone was about to leave when a huge botnet joined. Somehow they got opt, and we took over the channel for an hour or so. Underworld split, I think, and we uh, it relinked it off the original botnet. Chamfix came and Judas, but that shit was hilarious. Chango freaked the fuck out. Fuck you, Chango. Fist overdosed on uh, Kraton or Kratom, whatever the fuck it's called, Kratom, and threw the bag out after realizing he couldn't handle it. Lit up, drank 10 Natty Ices last night and bought some Coke at 10 p.m. He messaged me mid-high and explained that he can snort lines without plugging the other nostril. And he was trying to beat the solitaire world record. ASCII of the Week. Yeah, so ASCII of the Week has to go to Cosby X. Not just one, but numerous ASCIIs. He's made a few Effie Spurg ASCIIs, a blue paper towel crooked finger ASCII, and a thread ASCII. They're all hosted at WePumpin slash ASCII and start with his nick, C-O-S-B-Y. 
Shout out to Cosby. He's a he is the man. The man. Sports news. All right, sports news by never. In a recent one-on-one interview, Pound Harbaugh Op and FNet News friend BTS has agreed to bring back the Dot Golf Command on his sports bot if enough people petition for it. So please visit Pound Harbaugh today to sign this peti- uh, petition. You can join uh, and type period golf, and that should uh, count your vote. Right, so this is a friendly reminder that the NHL and NBA playoffs are underway. It's the ideal time to uh, join basketball and hockey to flood and post any ASCIs. So uh, that's pound basketball, pound hockey. Please don't join. Please don't flood. In a stunning new development, the legal online drug Kratom, ah, it's up again, has been reported to be used heavily by many FNET sports users. In a recent interview with user Gravitas from Pound Harbaugh and Pound Football, he claims that Kratom helps him get through his daily routines, such as working out, house chores, and forgetting that his uh, white wife left him for a black man. We'll touch more on this in future segments. Lastly, it was a no-brainer for Poor Sport of the Week. FNet RC Op and Pound Hockey Operator Alex's wins in a landslide. Be sure to congratulate him and remind him the Montreal Canadiens suck dick. So that's it this week. Shout out to my new patrons, TRN and Sub Ohm. I appreciate you guys and would love to thank you for your support. Huge shout out to my continued patrons, Chrono, Michael, Monkey, Load, Money Tree, Matthew, Cosby X, Spoke, Pokery, Interdome, and Jewbird. Augie also said he'll support starting Friday, so a preemptive shout out to him. If anybody's got any Bitcoin they want to send, let me know. I got a wallet. I also got this new PayPal.me, front slash FNet News, where you can send PayPal shit quick. Chosen One actually sent me uh, one cent on there, which converts to less than a pence in the UK, which is nice of him. Uh, still got Patreon.com slash FNet News. Oh, yeah, make sure you go listen to uh, Pokery's new tracks as well. That dude's on fire, and I hope he collabs soon. So this is episode 19. I hope you all enjoy it, man. Peace. For more EFNet news, follow Vapor on Snapchat as Smiggy999 or on Twitter as PP4L. Demon Recon! <laughs>